Welcome to Meditations from the Mound, a ministry of the Chestnut Mound Church of Christ located in Chestnut Mound, Tennessee. My name is Carver Moore, and I'm one of the ministers for the Chestnut Mound Congregation. And if you'll recall a few weeks or a few months ago, we talked about the Lord's Supper, why we partake of the Lord's Supper, what kind of attitude we should have as we partake of the Lord's Supper, why we partake of the Lord's Supper on the first day of the week, what the emblems of the Lord's Supper represents. So, but in the time we have tonight, I want to go a little bit deeper on that attitude aspect. Now, friends, I hope that if you haven't done so already, that you will locate your Bibles and turn on with me to the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter number 11, and we're going to look at verse number 28. That's 1 Corinthians chapter number 11 and verse number 28. Paul speaking here to the church at Corinth. He is instituting the Lord's Supper. This passage should be familiar to most of you, those of you that partake of the Lord's Supper or attend the, the, the services of the Lord's Church each and every week. But in 1 Corinthians chapter number 11, in verse number 28, Paul says, But let a man, friends, watch this, examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. Well, friends, we established a few months ago or a few weeks ago in our lesson about the Lord's Supper that we don't partake of it to, uh, to quench our thirst or to uh, fulfill our hunger, to rid ourselves of hunger. No, friends, we partake of the Lord's Supper to remember Christ's sacrifice for us on the cross at Calvary. But friends, when it says to examine yourselves, that's what I want us to focus on in the time that we have tonight. What does it mean? What, what, do you, what, what does it mean to examine anything? You, you see a nice uh, car driving down the street. You stop and examine that, don't you? You, you want to you learn. You want to take it all in. And that's true with anything that we see. That's what our eyes are for. They allow us to examine things. But also, our heart allows us to examine ourselves. So, friends, when you're partaking of the Lord's Supper, what are you thinking about? Again, we touched on this a few weeks ago, but ask yourself, what are you thinking about when you partake of the Lord's Supper? Are you thinking about what you're going to eat when you get home? Are you thinking about the ball game or the race? that's going to be take place that afternoon? Are you thinking about, oh man, I sure hope the preacher is not long-winded today. Friends, you shouldn't be thinking about those things because you're to clear your minds of all worldly thoughts. But friends, when you examine yourselves, you need to examine yourself and make sure you're partaking in a worthy manner. So, think about this. When you partake of the Lord's Supper, do you think about the sacrifice? Do you think about what Jesus endured on the cross for you and I? If not, you should. Is it, and if it's hard to focus your mind on that, friends, and I, I, I suggest that you look at uh, the, the, the gospel accounts. You're given four gospel accounts of Jesus' crucifixion on the cross in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But friends, also, you also can take it a step further than that. When you examine yourselves, and friends, you should be examining yourselves every day. Not just during the Lord's Supper, but friends, when you examine yourselves, when you're partaking of the Lord's Supper, think about your life. And I'm not saying let your mind wander off and think about the ball game or the race or, 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 or what you're going to eat for lunch or what you're going to do uh, on Sunday afternoon. No, I want you to examine yourself and, and think about your blessings. Think about all the ways that you've been blessed both in a physical sense but also, friends, in a spiritual sense. Thank Him. Thank God that He sent Jesus His Son to this earth to die on that cross for you and I. Because if He hadn't of, think about how different our lives would look. There would be no hope of eternity. We would have nobody to take our, str our struggles and our trials to. Friends, we would have nobody that would be working behind the scenes 
giving us blessings, providing us blessings, showing us the way, the correct way forward when we least expect Him to. Think about that. That's how you that's that that's how you examine yourself. Make sure that you're in the right mindset. Make sure that you don't just go through the motions. I've seen people and I don't say this to, to, sing, to call anybody out. I don't say this to uh, make myself look good. But I've seen people when I'm uh, up, sometimes waiting on the Lord's table, pa- help, you know, helping pass the plates around. I've noticed people when they're in tears. And I say, and I, and I think, you know, that's, that's truly examining yourselves. That's true just raw emotion and that's the way we should be and friends i'm not i'm not telling you that i i'm not here to because i'd be lying to you and to if i if i was saying that that i was able to uh truly examine myself because sometimes when i'm partaking the lord's supper the attitude i have is i'm thinking about the the sermon that i'm getting ready to preach trying to make sure i've got all my bases covered if you will and friends that's wrong and I, i'm trying to do better I'm not perfect, and neither are you. But focus on those blessings. Focus on remembering and reflecting on who has given you these spiritual and physical blessings. James tells us that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Think about those gifts. But also, friends, think about that sacrifice he made. And if it's hard for you, Make it a goal to do better. Pray about it. Ask God to help you clear your minds in your private prayers as you pray, hopefully, every day. Friends, thank you so much for watching. If you have any spiritual questions, I hope that you won't hesitate to reach out to us at the Chestnut Mound Church of Christ. We're located in Chestnut Mound, Tennessee. We would love to sit down. We would love to study the Bible with you sometime at your convenience. Uh, Tell you how that you can uh, get to heaven. Get yourself to heaven. Friends, thank you again so much for watching. We hope to see you at our services soon. And take care, and may God bless you.